What is up guys, this is Manapots and welcome back to again another video and today's special video is we got a wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch sent by Nixie as you can see these bad boys look great I was looking on the website they look amazing um, they have these little you know LED rings you can see in there they have the palette a breathe or a rainbow breath looks really nice guys and also they have different colors here as you see do the colors I believe and I got the white one right here they can call the milk white I believe well guys these bad boys are wireless dual vibration and six axis gyroscope and they can be wired as well so let's go ahead and get these bad boys opened right now to show you guys you know how it basically looks like and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and do that here and here we go let's move the box to the side now Instruction manual, obviously, how to use it. We all, I, you guys know how I know how to use that. Looks like this is the part for the controller. I love the logo right here, Nixie. That looks great, guys. And now here comes um, the charger right here, too. All right, that's cool. Charger and all, that's what we need, right? Um, all right, and let's flip these over. Like I said, we got the white ones here. They look nice, and I can't wait to get my hands on these. Let's go ahead and pull these out real quick here. Let's go. All right, they are pulled out. Let's go one by one. Oh, wow. Okay, I can already tell you what one thing I like already about these. The groove handles right here. So your hand sits perfectly right here. And I have big hands. You can see, let's show off my hands real quick for these guys that want to see my hands. Look at these big old chunky hands. This fits amazing in my hands, guys. And as you can see right here, they have like a... A little groove in there. There you can see it better where your thumb just sits and it won't come off because it sits right there perfectly on there. It feels good, man. The D-pad feels a little bit meh, but I can get over that D-pad. Um, the buttons here feel good. The button presses and everything. The trigger's feeling nice as well. I'm liking that as well. Um, let's go ahead and do the first thing that we always wanted to do, obviously, is just slide them into this little thing right here and they click in really well and like I said these are freaking wireless wired um, they have gyroscope dual vibration and this feels great this feels like a great controller right here guys I said I have huge hands this fits well in my hands I can see myself playing a lot of Mario Kart with this a lot of Splatoon and a lot of Super Smash Bros which obviously I play Mario Kart competitively so every single time I'm drifting I'm always like this you know so that's the, the one major game that really gets you the drifts I gotta drift on multiple of my other controllers which i'm going to show you right here right now obviously you guys know with these joy con controllers here let me go ahead and grab them you're gonna have a drift these bad boys you always get a drift no matter what you're gonna have a drift with these i remember getting my drift real badly in mario kart like i said when i played competitively in that game and i can't use these again they're really small i have huge hands so these pff, no garbage don't work for me and then you have these guys right here, which sadly, these bad boys are not wireless. Um, they're wired. You pop them in there, you'll be playing. Um, but these were my first alternative um, to the Joy-Cons because, you know, I'm a, a big guy, got big hands. So these felt really good on my hands. Sadly, they caught a drift as well. And I'm like, yo, when am I going to stop catching these drifts, guys? It sucks, but these guys aren't wireless. Um, so since these guys caught a drift, I needed an alternative. So the alternative is right here by Nixie. And let me tell you, it feels great. It feels great in my hands, guys. I'm loving it, man. It feels amazing. And they also, if you turn around, they have the mapping buttons. So map your buttons right here. If you want to map your jump, your slide, or whatever. If you're playing FPS or if you're playing Super Smash Bros, you can map some other stuff there. They have a turbo mode, I believe, in the back here. There's a turbo over here and mapping. So that's pretty cool. It feels great, guys. Um, and the one thing that we're going to do, we're going to put some hours on this. So we're going to cut probably and get to the other part where I put hours and hours on this. See if they get a drift or anything. I'm going to be playing a lot of Mario Kart on here. Like I said, Mario Kart really is the main factor of me always getting drifts on my freaking controllers. I'm always drifting like this. You know, I'm always drifting, going crazy right here. So I always get the drift on this side. This side, not so much because you don't really need this for Mario Kart. What you really need is this one when you're going to go ahead and do your drifting. So I'm hoping um, me putting a lot of hours and doing my competitive racing on Mario Kart will go ahead and um not get me a drift and these could hopefully be the solution that i need or you know just a great nintendo switch controller for wireless and wired when i'm on the go on my switch so now that we're talking about that let's go ahead and put them on the nintendo switch real quick so here's my switch right here i just want to see how it feels you know that's 
one. Ooh, and they're growing already. And that's another one. Holy macaroni, does this feel crazy? I'm not going to lie to you guys. Whoops. Yeah, I have the old Nintendo Switch, so it can't really stand that well. But man, this looks freaking amazing. Really, it's really... Is basically what I want because I have big hands and they fit well in my hands. It's great, guys. Hey, you can see me there. Hello, guys. How you doing? <laughs> but no, this is nice, guys. Really nice. That's the back part. Let's get the back part to it, guys. So what's gonna happen now is we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and swap over to some gameplay. I'm gonna be putting some hours in Mario Kart. I'm gonna let you guys know what is the verdict. Do I like these a lot when I play Mario Kart? Have I gotten a drift or anything like that? So we'll be right back with the next part. All right, guys, and we're back, and we got into a game. I'm going to showcase this to you guys. I've put some good hours on doing some competitive gameplays. You always know I'm always playing competitive for Mario Kart. I love it. But here we go, 150 CC, and yeah, I want to showcase this to you guys because a lot of people are wondering how it is. But the Rumble feels actually really good. As you can see, remember what I told you about me playing Mario Kart and how I'm really freaking crazy with the joys, even with the sticks right here. Yeah. It, it, that's just how I am, guys. That's just how I am. That's how I get my drift sometimes, you know? But the rumble feels great. It's on par with the, you know, the Joy-Cons rumble, to be honest. And I play tons with the Hori Split Pad Pro, and this just feels way better. I don't know what it is, but I think it's just the sticks. The sticks feel amazing. Like I said, it has that engraving there. It just feels really good. Especially for games like this and Splatoon, where you really need to have your hands on the sticks. Oh no, that banana. It's fine, let's go. Let's go. But as you can see, you got the little LED lights there that you can definitely turn off if you want. But I like the color with the white and red, so I decided to just keep it on there, you know? Just because it looks good. It looks really good with that. Yeah, and I'm surprised that from all the competitive gameplay I've done with Mario Kart with these, you know, this set of controllers here from Nixie. I have not gotten my drift. It's really freaking amazing, man. Oh, that's gonna hurt me. That's gonna hurt me a lot if it hits me. Is that for me? That has to be for me. It's not. Okay, it's not. So we're definitely gonna save up this, uh, this moosh moosh. I call it a moosh moosh. And now we got these, but no, it's, it's feeling good, guys. Get out of here. Oof. And of course that comes towards me because I'm in first place. So I've tested this out with Splatoon as well and with Super Smash Bros. Again, same thing, but mainly I'm testing this bad boy out with the racing game that always gives me the most freaking drift, which is freaking uh, Mario Kart. This is where all my drifts come from. I don't know why, man. It's just because I'm always beating up the freaking left stick, trying to freaking do my drifts and stuff like that, guys. Oh, we didn't get a double to the lens. That's fine, though. Hopefully, he gets hit by that. Nope. Oh, I actually did get hit by it, but that's fine. Let's go. All right, in second place right there. Um, Yeah, it feels great, guys. Um, like I said, the D-pad could use a little bit more work. I mean, it's not really that bad. But other than that, the rumble is nice. The LED lights are on here. The sticks feel amazing. The triggers feel good when I'm playing Splatoon as well, guys. It's just overall... A great controller and you can also use uh, my code for 10% off on your purchase too which will be manapots if you're interested in getting a Nixie wireless controller guys um, I highly recommend it definitely got my mana seal of approval just because of how it looks like as you can see I'm gonna show you another type of gameplay right now so we're gonna go ahead and cut this and go back to the other side so you can check out the two sides of the gameplay all right, guys, and here it is using it in a, you know, the wireless controller mode as well. Um, we're playing a little bit of uh, Smash Bros right now. You know, I'm playing as my homie Wario always, man. Wario is one of my favorite characters as well. Yeah, it feels great though, guys. Like I said, I wanted to test it on this mode too. This is the mode that I'm usually always playing with. Just so you know, I put this, I put this damn CPU at nine, man. I wanted a challenge. I, I didn't want to go online because yeah. I've been playing Smash Bros, you know, competitively in a good while, and I'm planning to come back, and I want to use the Nixie controller as it, you know? There we go. That's the first stock right there. And as you can see, I do um, 
mess around with the, with the thumbstick, especially the left one. The left one's always getting messed up in this game. That's just how I am, like I said. Ooh, nice grab by Mr. Ryu. I think it's those, those little claps, guys. Ooh! I always come back for a car. No! It's fine. <laughs> Like I said, I haven't played this game competitively, so hopefully soon I get into it. But no, like I said, um, the controller has definitely went through some wear and tear with me when I'm playing with it. Because when I'm playing either Splatoon, Mario Kart, it's always, like I said, the left uh, Joy-Con. It always gets, you know, kind of messed up. Ooh. I'm playing kind of not safe right now, which is not cool. And I messed up my fart. There we go, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely. You can see... <laughs> This controller in wireless mode is um, really nice as well. Like I said, it comes with this little bar here. The vibration feels nice. Overall, great controller. Like I said, the mana seal of approval is definitely on this controller, guys. The Nixie wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch, guys. As always, um, make sure to use my content creator code with them, which is Manapotz, M-A-N-A-P-O-T-Z, for 10% off of your purchase. If you guys really definitely enjoyed this, give the video a like, subscribe for more of these kind of reviews where I showcase these kind of products to you guys and right here with the game and all that stuff and I just talk about what I like about it like I said great controller overall definitely recommend it thanks for watching take care guys